To understand the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen, it's important to understand the basics. Why do we recommend hyperbaric oxygen? Why is it needed? What can it do? And most physicians don't even understand it. And under normal conditions, there is no need for hyperbaric oxygen. Cells, represented by the lighter pink here, are within close enough proximity to blood vessels, represented by the red tubes here, that oxygen diffuses down a gradient and all cells are within appropriate oxygen. That's fine under normal conditions. The problem is after trauma or after inflammatory processes, etc., there are cells that are no longer within the diffusion gradient. Here it's represented as trauma and the swelling of these cells collapses this red blood cell vessel so that red cells are not within close enough proximity to unload their oxygen. So in the lowest aspect here, we showed that under hyperbaric conditions, because we drive up the amount of oxygen in the liquid portion of blood, so that it diffuses five times further outside of the red blood cell vessels, then we see that we actually get oxygen to these swollen ischemic cells. They liven up and return to normal function. Dead, as represented in the black here, remains dead. We're not bringing dead cells back to life, but we're preventing the further damage of ischemic cells or cells that are not getting enough oxygen. So in trauma conditions, in inflammatory conditions, and a multitude of other things, hyperbaric oxygen, despite what physicians are taught in medical school, is very applicable.